Hey everyone, it's Catherine, and I am going to just share a project I have been working on, and I think it's actually gonna make a bit of a difference for me, because really it already has. Now, I own a lot of washi tapes. I am a very heavy washi user. It is one of my you know, top supplies. I love washi tape. However, I have, some might argue, too much. And I have been holding on to things that, quite frankly, needed to go a long time. And this is my answer to that. Now, I have tapes like this. This is from Wonton in a Million, and I absolutely love this tape. However, it's had issues with the foiling since the day I got it. Like, I took it out of the package, went to swatch it right away, and this is what I was dealing with. Now, every other tape I've ever bought from this company has been flawless. And I don't know why I didn't just send it back, but I didn't. And you know what? I just don't have space in my life for that anymore. But I can dedicate a couple rows and a notebook to a swatch that I can kind of hang on. And this is, you know, really the full pattern repeat. And I can come back and visit it and love it. And this is really the most that I was ever going to use of that tape because of the foiling issues. And then as I went through, I discovered issues with some of my other tapes. A lot of this was just to see what was still in good condition. To just really, there, there are tapes that, you know, over time they might get sticky, the adhesive stops working. So I wanted to see what was still in good condition and anything that was got to stay and anything that wasn't, I have just, it's gone straight into the trash. I hate to do that, but if it's not sticking to the page or it's sticking to itself or it's just tearing and tearing and tearing or discolored, it has to go. So this is a great way for me to preserve a little bit of it and then kind of free myself. So if you have that hoarder's mentality, this is a great way to kind of scale back and it, it's kind of fun because it's like a washi only journal and if you love washi to the extent that I love washi then this is actually pretty fun <laughs> so I have really enjoyed just sitting and flipping through it and I'm not even done yet and then this is another one where like those two are gone because I had a really tough time getting a piece this big off the roll. So yeah, that was just a Daiso tape and it wasn't a massive loss financially speaking. But then this one, it was Ally Express and it's actually, it's sticky and it's sad because I really loved that one. But again, it's a, a way for me to kind of hold on to some of it and like some of these had yellowed and I didn't even worry about wastage because I'm not gonna use the parts that are yellowed, right? I just pulled it off the roll to see if I could get it to be that nice white color again. And once I got down to a point where like it didn't have that discoloration, took a swatch and then it's gonna go back in my box. And hopefully it will be used before it starts to yellow like that again. I think it was from the sun. Now, I do have like these Planners Anonymous tapes. Their, their collections are all together. And some of these have that long pattern repeat. So if I felt it was relevant, I included the pattern repeat. So this was one where I felt it was relevant. Then this one too, because it was like half the tape is pink and the other half is yellow. So I wanted to just remember the two colors because because it's so long, on the roll you might not see the other color and I didn't want to forget and then like this one it does have a really long pattern repeat but it's just the same bunny just in different positions so I just did the one and I, I just didn't get crazy with it and yeah I've got great things like so this is a mummy lay tape this is like the second box she ever did and it's so sad that her box is gone now but this is a great way to kind of preserve that memory. 
and then this one was actually a planner society one and I've had I had very serious issues with the owner of that company um, like scary serious so I found the two tapes I had from her and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna use them and let the rest go because um, well if something's still usable I feel like wrong throwing it out does that make sense um, I have given away other items that I had but if it's usable I, I think I just want to use it and then be done um, just in the in the interest of not even being wasteful and I am not gonna let like the bad feelings infect my planner there are some things that I have set aside for others who don't necessarily have those bad feelings attached they personally didn't have a bad interaction and I think that's great because it, it gets it it gets supplies in the hands of people who need and want them but uh, I don't have to be the one that deals with it and you know I get that out of my space I free that up for other things that I am currently using it makes it easier to see what I have um, you know if I need more space for the wonton and a million tapes because I'm using a lot of those then that's great now I have the space for that so that's kind of like the whole purpose and then other things like this I had two of these tapes and they're both like halfway done I didn't realize I had two of the same one so obviously I like that color but it's one of those things like I'd like to stop doing that and just more different brands like Villa Beautiful, Simply Gilded, Bloomsicle, Coco Daisy. I didn't really fuss. As I worked through, sometimes it was easy to keep collections or ones that I purchased around the same time or themes like this was like their sugar plum washi and then this is obviously um, Nutcracker washi it was easy to kind of keep some of them together but I really didn't go crazy with it like these are all they're not sticking very well um, the pink room co tapes yeah and that's another thing because I as I go through it's like do I want to buy from that company again you know and I can kind of see how those tapes have held up and uh, make my decisions based on that one ton in a million with their very long repeats I love it yeah so this is the end I still have so many more to go through I think if I can if I can put together like like this one and this one like they're part of the same collection I think I have like all of the galaxy ones in here if I can keep them together um, the way I did for like the planners anonymous ones then I'm going to do that but if I don't like these ones kind of got messed up like the other tapes for that or elsewhere in the book I'm not gonna get crazy like I don't care I, I just want to get them in the book and like that's the goal so uh, it really it's just it's a it's a good way to preserve a little bit of that washi I can see the full pattern repeat which when I get new collections I do like to put in the name and stuff like that and obviously I've got like the day that it came so it's good for like my memory record keeping sort of thing there uh, but I can have the full pattern repeat here because this is an a6 size and I'm really kind of loath to lay down more than one strip because if I want to do any kind of re relevant journaling I want to have the space for that and I won't necessarily uh, if it's a long pattern repeat like one of these could easily take up a whole page with just one or two tapes so this is this is great this has really worked for me and if you want like like this is the size comparison this is an a6 so this is like a full letter size and I, yeah, I really like it. If you guys like this one, that is kind of all I can do for you with that. And I am so sorry uh, for everyone. Like, I can't necessarily tell you what brand, what company. 
like each one of these tapes is because I know I might get questions about that. Uh, all I can say is I like these ones are still available for sale, but so many of them just are not like these were from sub boxes and they're they're no more. And I, I hate to say that, but it is it is true. And you know what, though? Anything you see, really, there, just wait a week. Something new and great is going to come along, I promise. And, and this is a great example of this. This was my favorite box ever. I love this box. And you know what? It's like a year later. This one was very reminiscent of it. So... Just hang in there. I promise you someone will do it over again and you won't be missing out. Okay, so yes, I have two other videos I want to do. They were supposed to go up this month, but ultimately I have been traveling a lot. I just got back and I'm going away again very soon and then we've got the start of school and all that stuff going on. And I want to give those two videos my full attention. I I actually, I do want to do the video on Estelle. I have since purchased a second one and I want to talk about the whole experience because it ended up being a shockingly positive experience and I really want to share about that. Uh, I think it deserves the time and effort I want to put into that. And then I do want to do another video that basically talks about this kind of excess. You can no longer follow just like your favorite shops and not get sucked into buying so much more. Like I am trying so hard to, to scale back on what I buy and I couldn't figure out why it's been so hard until it clicked. Duh, I'm watching a commercial and I didn't even realize it. There are just so many companies out there that, yeah, I get it, your besties or you just really want to share as you share a code or like a referral code or you really love a product but you also have business interests with that other company like it's very hard uh, to walk away when when you don't realize that you know you are watching a commercial it, it, and and so much of, of YouTube and Instagram and everything and Facebook, all these things, they are becoming more and more just really commercials. So as I show you all of my awesome stuff, I'm saying don't buy it, okay? It's, it's counterintuitive, but I will do a video on those two things. They just, I really want to give them my full attention so bear with me on it I, they will get up it's just a matter of when at this stage it'll be December all right so question comments please feel free to leave them down below I am always happy to hear from everyone and to all of the people who have stuck with me thank you for sticking around and to all of the new subscribers because I do seem to still get new subscribers Welcome, and uh, I really hope that you like my videos. I'm sorry for the crazy vlogging style, but it's one of those things. If I am silent, then both of my kids have nothing to say. The second I start talking, it's like everybody slams to the ground and they're actively dying. So, I, you know, it's like 1 a.m. This is when the magic happens. So I'm sorry for that. Um, but yeah, thanks, guys. I'll see you all next time.